This is problem number one from 6.2 homework. They want us to solve the right triangle using the given information. They give us A is 64 degrees, that's uh, big A, and that's the angle. So we know that this is 64 degrees. They give us A, little a, which is opposite of the angle 64. That's 124 inches. And they want us to find, if you can see down here, they want us to find B. So they want us to find, what, what's this angle up here? I think they want us to find everything in the triangle. Uh, so let's start with B and then let's find everything else. Well, I know if I have angle of 64 degrees and this is an angle of 90 degrees, I know a triangle has a total uh, amount of degrees of 180. So I can take uh, basically 180 minus 90, which is 90, and then 90 minus 64. And 90 minus 64 gives you, let's see, 26. So let's go 26 degrees is what B is. So we can write up here that B is 26 degrees. Now we gotta go about finding uh, B and C. So let's start by finding uh, B first. If I wanna find B first, I'm gonna use this angle 64 degrees and I'm gonna use 64 the whole time. So that's my opposite side because that's the opposite of 64 degrees. This is my adjacent side and this is my hypotenuse. So if I wanna find the adjacent side, I have the opposite side here, I'm gonna use uh, well, if you remember Sokotoa, so let's write that at the top. So, ka, toa. O and A is Toa, so that's tangent. So I'm going to use tangent, 26 degrees equals, oh, not 26, 64 degrees, my bad. So tangent, 64 degrees equals the opposite, which is 124 inches over B, which is the adjacent side. Now I can solve that by multiplying by B. So I have B tan 64 equals 124 and divide by tan 24. So little b equals 124 divided by tan 64. And now I just need to throw this in the calculator. So I get 124 divided by tan 64 tells me that that is 60.48 so little b is 60.48 now I need to find c so I can either use I can either use a sine because that's the opposite and the hypotenuse or I can use the Pythagorean theorem now I'm going to use sine this time. So I'm gonna go opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm gonna say sine 64 equals 124 over C, multiply by the C. So C sine 64 equals 124, divide by sine 64, C equals 124 over sine 64. And again, plug that in the calculator. So 124 divided by sine 64. This is 137.96. So now I know that this part C is 137.96. This little b is 60.48. And now I know the whole triangle. And it makes sense because the hypotenuse is the longest side and it's not ridiculously long.